We, we, we interrupt our program with a special bulletin. I just wanted to know, I guess, if you were aware of like what is really robbing you of a minimum wage, what is robbing you of a living wage, right? There's a lot of information that government hides and keeps from us, right? Um, they never allow us to want to know like the full truth of what's going on, I would say, right? Would, would you say you come across that sometimes? Yes, yes we right? do, yes we do. So, I would say like, what is really robbing you from a living wage, um, I'm just going to provide some information. It's not really McDonald's or businesses, it's the government. Absolutely. I think that when the delegates, uh, people on Capitol Hill, will realize that making 725, you cannot make it on that. Right. 725, especially if you are a single parent and you have children, 725, you have to figure out are you going to pay your electric bill or your water bill? Uh, can I take my kids to childcare or do I have to just stay home today? Uh, I can't be out with my kids are sick or I can't be out because I'm sick because I won't get paid. And I think that once that they all realize that we have some that are for us, you know, like Governor Terry, Donald McKeachin and so on, but there are a lot that don't understand because they are not in our shoes. So those are the people who are robbing you from a living wage, right? When you get your paycheck, right? When you add up the taxes, when you add up your local, city, federal, Absolutely. state, your social security, Medicare, Medicaid, yes. uh, sales tax, everything you buy has been taxed. When yes. you add it up, it's nearly half your income stolen. Yes, it right? is. Maybe McDonald's, maybe you feel like they could pay you more, that's great, you can negotiate, right? That's perfectly fine. But I think the true enemy of what is really robbing us of our opportunity to, to free ourselves entrepreneurially wise or prosperous wise is the government, right? Because McDonald's not taking nearly half your income. Maybe you mm -hmm. want to get paid more, yeah, that's just great, right? We should always negotiate, right? Yeah, $15. $15, yeah, negotiate as much as you want, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that if we really want to find what is robbing us of a living wage, I think maybe some of the focus and attention, I would say all of it, should be pointed for City Hall. Right, so be pointed towards the very crooks of politicians that don't really care about what's going on exactly. here. Right? Exactly. Right, the ones that are really, yeah, exactly. they're taking you, or taking your bread and money to that's feed right. their family and their children, right, at your that's expense. Right. Exactly. That's why we have, we do phone banking. We go door to door. We come down to the Capitol and actually talk to the legislators and let them know exactly what we are going through. You so think, that they can understand. Right. And I think actually they should walk three days in our shoes. Three days, yeah. Do a switch around. <laughs> yeah. I think that every government official on Capitol Hill should trade places with a home care worker. How about trade having, places with a right? McDonald's worker. Trade places with have, a have, Yeah, have a real job than sitting on their desk at your expense, right? They don't yeah. have, that's not a real job. <laughs> They're not producing real value, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, so, I mean, what do you think about having no politicians, nobody running your life, no one telling you what you can and cannot do with your own money, how what you can and cannot do with your own body? Uh, yeah, well, I tell you, as no far taxes, as like, no, no taxes debt. would be great. Oh my God. No taxes would be right? great. I would be down with you that. Down I'm pretty that? sure. Yeah, yeah, I think we could go for that. No taxes. No taxes. Yes. Go with that. All right. But until we get to that, I really think that the legislators should take a look and think about what if it were them. But I think that's, they'll play along. I mean, they'll always play along, but they're like, uh, they're, they're jokesters, right? They'll play along in their facade. They just want your vote because they just want to be in there to live at your expense, right? The, the thousands of dollars that they make comes from you, comes from everyone else who's actually really working, right? Regardless of where they come, you're creating real value. Their job is sitting in an office and taking that value from you, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, they'll do it for three days just for you to like them, but that's all they want, right? They just want your vote. They don't really care about the community. And but, and but also, if they do that three days, they would get whiff of exactly what we go through. And hopefully, if they have a heart, for sure. then they, they don't have hearts. They're politicians. <laughs> I think some of them do. They're politicians. But then there are a lot of them that don't. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but, but do you think uh, pushing for no taxation is something uh, we could agree on to push forward? I think that would be great. Right? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. All right. <laughs> Enjoy talking Thank to you. Thank you, too. You, too. All right. Thank you. Pleasure.
responsibility? Yes, it's still our own. We should know by now that the system is designed for our demise. If we have lives, we'll be left behind. Dollar signs rule. But what about the fool who falls victim to the material world?